A Cards with Michael production. Fast Breaks. What's up, YouTube? Got another Fast Breaks. This time sponsored by Q-Tip Man. An entire booster box of Mystery Booster WPN Edition. Of course, these have uh, you know, slowly, I guess, fallen away from grace. But there was a period of time these were the primo fun packs to open. Uh, back when Mana Crypt was first, first reprinted and it was like, oh my gosh, this is the hottest thing ever. Um, but nowadays I think that we've seen these uh, packs, um, boxes, um, and people aren't drafting as much anymore. So there's a different feel, but still it's just like all the, like Charter Course, Dark Blast, like there's so, Jack of Pup with fun card, so many playables and a little Thopter Foundry, Reliquary Tower, look at that value bear cub. Calron, Sky Summoner, and a little Funeral Charm. There's a lot of potential value cards. So it's actually, it's it's interesting how this product has aged because, um, you know, once again, it, of course, was only available to WPN um, stores for the longest time. Uh, but nowadays, it's just crazy. Like, I, I, w I really wish I could get the chance to draft it a little bit more. Um, of course, you can also draft it at Grand Prix. A little Skull Clamp, Imperial Armor. Cree of Justice and a Minamo. Look at that. School at Water's Edge. It's not a bad pull at all. Um, yeah, we, I really wish I could actually draft this more, but you know, with the way things are, it's gonna be a while. But you know, I drafted this a couple times at Grand Prix and it was so fun. Literally one of the funnest things uh I've done. So stay off, feed hunt, like so many little playable cards. Uh but of course the the Wolwa card we're really looking for is you know mana crypt um got two rares here oh, foil garula tactics and i oh i forgot about the rare in that first pack let's go grab it really quarter tower and a tall rand um yeah so like i was saying it is uh it's been a while since we've been able to paper draft uh i do hope that when we start paper drafting again this will be one of the possible um things that we do draft now who knows when that's going to be, hey? Who knows? It's also interesting that these are like possible... Ooh, little Soul Ring, look at that. Just little valley cards like that. Little Ancient Den, not bad. And uh, Temporal Mastery. Clean looking, just has a little logo, of course. And an Echo Game Decay, foil. Not irrelevant, not irrelevant at all. All right. Um, we have calculated the EV on these before. It is definitely, um, actually decent. It's not like a, you know, a standard draft booster back, booster box. Those are like, you know, in the 50s, I want to say. 60s, 70s. These are nice, like, 120, 130. There's legitimately cards that have value in it, and they're fun to open. And, oh, look at that. Speaking of cards that have value, there aren't even rares. We have this Ashnod's Altar, ding, ding, ding. All right, a Jushi Apprentice and a Hornet Nest, all right. And a Spring Jack Shepherd is our foil. All right, we'll keep going. Uh, of course, this was also filmed during the spoiler season of, oh, look at that, Echoing uh, Aura of Silence. One point was worth real money, and the reprint has caused it to kind of go down. But, you know, I think, uh, hey, a little Rista Redeemed, that's for a rare Steam Flogger Boss, and a Myojin of Life's Webs. One of my favorite Myogens. All right, all right. Um, so like I was saying, the the EV of these has been going down free fall since, you know, they were truly, really printed. But lately, I gotta say, lately, it hasn't been that bad. Um, it's kind of one of those things where, oh, I love Drag Under. Look at that, nice little clean card. Um, it can't really fall that much, so oh, I love Backwoods Survivalist too. All right. Implement a Malice and a Weathered Wayfarer. Not a bad rare at all. And all is dust, shirt, and a foil spike feeder. Oh man, for a while those were worth real money. Um, I just think it's one of those things, right? Like, things cool off and then you start realizing like cards like Gift of Estates, all right? Nice little uncommon, a little bit of value. Um, they can't go too much lower, right? Their hub, Shakashima, the Imposter, Champion of Parish, so many playables. Rune, Tail, Kitsune Ascendant. Also not a bad playable at all. Not a bad playable at all. Yeah, so I don't know. It's just nice to kind of be able to open up one of these again. Thank you so much, Q-Tip Man, for sponsoring 
uh, going through fast breaks, of course. We're trying to break this in in, uh, in a fast manner. And we're, we're just enjoying the pulls, just enjoying the pulls. Oh, this Eater of Days. All right, it's a little, it's a Mark Teton, he did this, oh, cool. It's a little off center. Coat of Arms, nice little value card and Ravenous Trap, all right. Boy, that was a rare in Double Masters. I, I have no clue that that's beyond me. Palace Sentinels, nice little common. Um, and here we go. Icy, Hakon, Oldrick, and a pull from Eternity. All right, all right. Um, one of the other things I really like about Mystery Boosters is the fact that there are 24 packs uh, in the box. And the shape of them is so nice. It's a nice little compact thing. If you've ever had to ship them, they fit perfectly into the small priority boxes at the USPS or at your post office. Um, in addition, they are also fun because um, you can fit multiple very, very compactly. Very, very, very nicely. All right, we have a Sadistic Hypnotist, a Dictative Helioid, and a Sasuke, son of Shishero. Look at that epic card. All right. So far, there are some other money hits like Expropriate... Uh, Bloom Tender, uh, but we haven't seen any of those yet. I haven't seen any of those yet. All right. Here we go. Have you guys drafted this, by the way? I feel like I ask every video. I don't really ever hear anyone say that. Oh, hey, hello. Atrios, Star of Extinction. It's a double mythic pack. And a Celestial Kirin is our foil rare. All right, all right. Not too shabby at all. Not too shabby at all. Um, this is kind of my pile of, like, I don't know, uncommons that have some value. I might have missed a couple, but um, that is one of the things that makes this even funner, the fact that there's uncommons that have value. All right. Here we go. Explosive Veggies, my favorite millstone. Release the Ants, an American Seder, and a Goblin Bushwhacker Foil. All right. Still a good card. That card is used in... Of course, modern or standard or I'm sorry, modern. It's like the eight whack deck. All right, here we go. Caravex torch, grave crawler, and an undead war chief. Nice little two zombies in a row. All right, keep opening. All right, what do we got here? Lightning bolt, the OG. Wow. It's cool that you can play this in Limited. One of the few formats where you can. We've assembled the Legion, and look at that. A Sliver Hive Lord. Nice little mythic right there. And a Reki History of Kamigawa. All right, all right. Yeah. Of course, we, oh, there are some mythics in the pile. I, I might as well pull them out. But uh, Sliver, Sliver Hive Lord is actually a price item mythic. Some of those mythics were not true mythics of value, if that makes sense. All right, it's been a while since we saw um, Demonic Tutor, which is, of course, also one of the value cards. Hurricane, Tireless Tracker, all right. These aren't too bad of rares in a Foil Mirrodin's Core. It's just, uh, you know, it really adds up, the, the value of these little little nugget rares here and there. And, um, like, cards like, you know, Coat of Arms, worth some good change. Uh, and, of course, a little Temporal Mastery is the other rare or mythic we pulled. And we'll keep going. All right, on to the next. Danitha, Promise of Boon Ray. Oh, ding, ding, ding. We did get a Demonic Tutor. That is awesome possum. All right, all right. And Cultivate, Cultivate. Eh, back in the day before we had real Cultivate, Yavo Maya's Embrace, Downshifted 2, an Uncommon. They really like that. And the Mirari Conjecture, all right. And the Foil Shizo Death's Storehouse. All right. Getting to the home stretch of this box. Are we going to see a crypto? Are we going to see it? I'm curious. You're curious. We're all watching. Hoping. Rith. Savage Knuckle Blade. Oh my gosh. Oh, I would draft both of these in a heartbeat. I don't even care. Paradox Haze. All right, all right. There's a lot of cool, fun shenanigans with upkeeps to the point where Paradox Haze, a very unique card, of course. Um, did became a little fellow dark guardian, a little combo. 
combo cat. Um, hey, little Mishra's Bobble. Nice little value card. I'll throw it over here. And Doom Gape and a two headed giant. Okay. And a foil rocks from 10th edition. Oh, uh, yeah. But Paradox Haze. What a card. When it first was printed, there was not much. People were like, what is this? And uh, every time, every time there's an upkeep combo trigger, uh, Paradox Haze. Gets brought up into consideration, so I'm glad they printed it. All right, we got a no spawn dragon, no spine, and whelming wave. And what is this? Trailblazers boots from the originals in the car. All right, car doesn't really do anything. They don't print cars like this anymore. Look at that. It just has non basic land walk. It's like, okay, all right, nice. No stats at all for wearing those heavy, heavy boots. All right. I'd say those heavy boots give you like. Minus one, plus two, you know? Because, uh, not going anywhere. I feel like your attack goes down a little. Misform Shrieker. And a Revel in Riches, all right, all right. Not a bad rare. And a Gefs Grimor. Grimor. All right. Two more packs left. Come on. Can we get that crypt? Can we do it? I've seen it on the last pack before. It's, it's not impossible. All right, Ooh, just realized these two are rares that I've just thrown into the uncommon pile. And Tinker, all right. Precursor Golem and a Nazumi Short Fang. All right, two more pack of runes. Let's do it. Let's see it. I want to see the Crypt. Here we go. Claim. Oh, this card is seen play in Historic. I had to play against it. Actually, not a bad card at all. Crenelated Wall. Okay, all right. Mercedian Mask. It's been a while. Get Rog Monster. And one with nothing. All right, so we did get that Mythic. with the, And one with nothing, which is a funny, funny troll card. But, no okay. Last pack. Last pack. Let's see. What do we got here? Slowly. Engineered Might. Blasted Landscape. Nemesis of Reason. And... A Chasm Skulker. All right, and a Foil Sakura Tribe Scout. We did get the, the Tutor, so that was nice. Uh, but, you know, didn't get the spicy, spicy, spicy cards. But hey, this is still a fun opening experience. Thanks so much, Q-Tip Man, for sponsoring a fast break. And also for letting me let everyone else know that it's not just Double Masters. It's not just VIPs. Uh, it's not just Japanese War, the Spark that we open. We open a lot of other stuff fun time and uh, hopefully you enjoyed it and we will catch you on the next